Hey lovelies, it's Zimadrin. I don't know if any of you guys could actually help me with this, but this is one of those weird impulse buys. Um, I make jewellery and sometimes I buy job lots of jewellery making stuff and this came up as an option and including postage I paid £7.20 for this whole thing. And it is vintage, antique I have no idea how old any of this is. So we start off with this really awesome, could be leather, the zip is really quite rusty and so is the hardware on it. But it still works perfectly fine. And as I said, this is jewelry making stuff and this stuff smells like it's been sat in a musty, I don't know. So inside we have a um, little index pad. I hate polystyrene, so bear with me. Um, we have this, looks like down, well done me, which you can see what that is, which kind of gives you an inkling of what is in here. There's also this piece of dowel stick, this really heavy modern weight of sorts, uh, and then I think that's part of the case but it comes off maybe I don't know um I have no idea but it smells bad like musty old so I'll show you what's in the tins first because <laughs> it is crazy and I have no idea and I want to say this is some kind of shell and none of it is mint condition at all but I have no idea what any well some of this stuff I do have and I have ideas um, but I wanted to show you this and as I said I got it for £7.20 including postage and a lot of this stuff I kind of feel like you would pay £7.20 just for a piece of it. Um, there's a lot of pieces of tissue in here, let's put that aside. So in here, let me hold this up for you guys. I am going to hazard a guess at what some of these things are based on how shiny they are. Uh, slithers of what I want to call some kind of agate or quartz chunks of raw stone and there's quite a bit of it in here um, more pieces like I said I'm trying to show you and I don't know what this is um, whole pieces of rock some are smashed into little slithers which look like some kind of agate or geodes of some kind. Some kinds are just the solid rock. Um, ooh, careful. I also have this bag of small gemstones which I think is tiger's eye just by looking at the outside. So let's tip this out. Okay, it's mostly tiger's eye. Oop, I dropped that. What was that? That said, oh, what does that say? I have no idea what that means. But there are little pieces of what I'm going to say is amethyst. We are not focusing. Of amethyst, like this piece here is clearly amethyst. And then, oh, I threw that on the floor. Tiger's eye. Red, little tiny bits of red tiger's eye. And I'm not entirely sure if there isn't some tiny pieces of blue tiger's eye in here as well. This piece before my cat eats it. Thank you, Ash. So there's this little bag of these pieces of stones. And that little label was in this bag. Then I have this large bag which is much larger pieces of what was in the tin, seemingly. So if I carefully tip that out. We have these, <laughs> this, I mean, this is to me is crazy and the price that I paid for this as well. Are we gonna say that this is rose quartz? Um, push that over. We have huge slithers, I love this. Are we gonna say that this is some kind of 
these huge, large pieces of, can anybody identify this stuff? Tell me what it is that I've got because I am so pleased with the things in this lot. But I don't know what a lot of it is. Other than extremely beautiful and an amazing find. Uh, I think, oh, oh, we're going to say that this is, I want to call that bloodstone. I hope that you can pick this up well. I don't think we're focusing for some reason. As well as we could do. I think the lighting is just terrible. But yeah, that is this awesome green that's got kind of specks of red in it um, that I would say is blood bloodstone. <laughs> piece of blue lace agate, maybe? <laughs> Would we say that this is some kind of amethyst? I apologize, I didn't realize the air show was still going on. I thought it stopped hours ago since I've not heard any planes for a good number of hours now. But how crazy is all of this? And that's just one bag. Um, so let me try and move some of those. I don't break them, but it's a few pieces of polished stone and then lots of pieces of raw stone or slightly polished Mario geodes <laughs> okay so this is the second bag and in the second bag we have this large pieces like this which is just crazy like really really crazy so some of these might be something, they might be nothing. What would we say this is? Piece of ja red jasper of sorts? It's big and it's quite pretty. It's not glittery, so I wouldn't say it's goldstone. So maybe some kind of jasper. And then more pieces like this and hold solid pieces that haven't been cracked open. And then in that bag, was this bag which just contains what I am going to say is amethyst. Okay, so these. I don't think I'm wrong saying that this is amethyst. Um, there are, I think this one's my favorite, but of course we are not focusing. Oh, I'll draw that piece there. And then, in that same bag was this little bag, this crazy little bag of these things which are adorable. Now I'm going to go on my earlier hunch and say that this is bloodstone again. Um, it's like green with dark red and I'm pretty sure it's bloodstone, I could be wrong. I don't know what this is. A tiny slice of possibly blue lace agate again. And then these, apps, and another one of those. And then these four, really tiny, absolutely adorable. They are sort of transparent. So you, like the clear bits you can see through. And I don't think we're gonna pick that up too well. But they are these really tiny, tiny slithers, which are just beautiful. So these tiny pieces that were in this little bag, that was inside the bag that had the uh, amethyst in it so I'm gonna pause you now because that was just one tin okay so this is the, the other tin which is not as impressive um, it's mostly tools in here so there is this thing whatever this is and some hunched up tissue. I don't know if there's anything in the tissue. I didn't look. Oh, look, there's things in the tissue. Um, okay, so there's this tiny piece of what looks like amethyst and this tiny piece of, wow, that's some kind of pearlescent, pearly 
I don't know if this is a stone or if this is a man-made thing. Got some glue on the back. But it is really pearl um holographic is the word that I'm looking for. Like when you think about the holographic foil, like the hollow foils, that's what that looks like. And then we have another bag of this, whatever this is, large pieces of, I don't even know what this is. I don't know what it, much of this is. I'm only just really getting into stones. I mean, I've had some stones that I've worked with for years and it was kind of like all the basics, um, basic things. But I've come to, to learn that a lot of things that can look the same, but that doesn't mean they are the same. Uh, a jeweler's magnifying glass. Whichever way around that it works. And then there's this, which looks like it was at some point glued to that other thing that I showed you. An antique spoon. Or an old spoon. And then these, which look like some kind of tools that belong to that thing that I just showed you. And I have a lot of these. But I'm not quite sure what they are or what they're for. At all. So maybe someone can tell me what they are or what they're for. There's also a modernish pencil. An oldish paintbrush. Another one of those. Another one of those spoons. Another one of those. A large metal pointy thing. Another one of these. And then this, which is what it says on the tin, really, which, uh, judging by the box, I'm thinking maybe old. But it clips onto your actual eyeglasses, which is kind of awesome. And for the price that I paid for all of this, Something's got to be worth something, right? And then this looks like a piece of blue lace agate that may have somehow been attached to. So maybe you attach them to these tools while you work on them. And this is some kind of, um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't really know. But... And then I have another one of these, which I have two of these, whatever they are. So this is my crazy haul. I bought it ages ago, like January, I think. And at the time I was uh, moving my room around or swapping bedrooms. And then I just kind of never, I looked at it, but I never really looked at it. And then today I was like, Do you know I'll have a look at this stuff. So... I don't know if anybody can shed any kind of light on anything that I've shown here at all. Um, but it'd be interesting to know if anybody has any ideas about any of it at all. Then that would be amazing. And I totally can't get all that stuff back in the other tin. I have no idea how it came in that tin. Um, did it come in the tin? Was it all in there? That's crazy. I can't really get it back in the, in the tin. I'm struggling with it all. But yeah, so it's kind of the craziness in here. And then there's an old news piece of old newspaper in here, which I'm wondering if it has a date on it at all. Yeah, it does. It says May 12, 1973. Have they been in here since 1973? <laughs> kind of crazy. But yeah. So, and as I said, it smells like old musty antiques. Look at these. And see. 
I don't know if they're two halves of the same thing. Probably not. Nope, two different halves. But if anybody can shed any light or we can go into it in some kind of detail somehow, I would absolutely love to do that and to converse about some of the things in here. It's not all going to go back in here. It's just not. So yeah, is this some kind of turtle shell? Terrapin shell? Some kind of shell. And then this large piece of whatever this is. Could even be some kind of flint. I have no idea. So, <laughs> hopefully somebody can start shed some kind of light. And uh, thank you for watching. Bye.